In this video, uh, we're going to start looking for algebraic forms of some important uh, sigma notation series. So, in this video, I want to look at the sum of the first n natural numbers. So, the natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. That's what's, uh, what we refer to as the natural numbers. So, the natural numbers, the first n natural numbers, could be represented by sigma of r, where r is 1 to n. So this represents r is 1, plus r is 2, plus r is 3, plus r is 4, and so on, up to r is n. And what we want to do is be able to write down an algebraic form for this. So, the method of doing that involves, first of all, writing down, well, let the sum be s. So, we go 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n. Okay? So, at some point, we're going to get to the last three terms n minus 2, n minus 1, and n. Now, if I rewrite this in reverse order, then I would have n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Now, if I add these two sequences together, what I find is that I've got 2s, s plus s, is n plus 1, plus, well, 2 plus n minus 1 is n plus 1, and 3 plus n minus 2 is n plus 1, plus dot 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 dot, dot plus n plus 1, plus n plus 1, plus n plus 1. So all of the terms are n plus 1. Now, how many terms do I have? Well, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, up to n minus 2, n minus 1, n. So I've got n numbers here, n lots of n plus 1. So actually, what I have is n lots of n plus 1 here. So if I divide both sides by 2, the sum is 1 half n, n plus 1. And this is the result that I'm looking for. So that means that the sum of the first n natural numbers are 1 half n, n plus 1. And this is a very, very useful result. So that means that if I wanted to find the, first, uh, the sum of the first 100 terms, so, if I wanted to know what 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way up to 100 was, then that would be the sum of r from r is 1 to 100. So, n is 100, so that's 1 half times 100 times 100 plus 1, so 101. So, that's 50 times 101 which is 5,050. So the sum, the first 100 numbers, is 5,050. And you could substitute in any n that you wanted here. So if you wanted to find the first 1,000 terms from 1 to 1,000, or 1 to a million, the same formula can be used. So it's a very useful formula to have. And thankfully, it's one that we can find in our formula booklet and is given to us. Now there's a couple of others that are going to be fairly useful to us. Um, the first of that, um, the first uh, couple of things that we need to know is that say we wanted to find the sum of 1 from r is 1 to n. So what that would be referring to is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus dot 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 all the way up to plus 1, and of these, 
there are n terms. Okay? So if I wanted r is 1 to 10 of 1, then it would be 10 lots of 1. And so here I've got n lots of 1, so this is just n. So the sum of 1 from r is 1 to n is just n. This is one that you do need to remember, it's not, and it's not given to you. This one is given to us in the formula booklet. Now what that rolls on to is that, say you wanted to find the sum of 3r plus 2 from r is 1 to um, 100, for example. Well, a nice thing that we're able to do with sigma is that we're able to split this up into its components. So I can say that this is the sum from r is 1 to 100 of 3r plus the sum of, from 1 to 100, of 2. So you can split the sigma up that way. You can also then say, well that is 3 lots of the sum of r from 1 to 100, plus 2 lots of the sum of r is 1 to 100, of 1. So you can see you could go straight from there to this line here. So you've got three lots of the first hundred terms. So that was three lots of 5,050 plus two lots of one uh, from to 100, which is two lots of n, but n here is 100, so two lots of 100, so 200. So we've got 3 lots times 5,050 plus 200 makes 15,000, sorry, pop the answer up here, 15,350. So we can use these two facts to figure out the answer to this one here. So this one is given to us in the formula booklet, this one we need to remember. In the next video, we're going to see how we can find the sum of the squares and cubes.